Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I've been loving the trend going around YouTube recently where people follow other people's routines. I've seen Holly Gabrielle do a few, my friend Molly has, so today I thought I'd try and follow the routine of one of my biggest inspirations, Grace Beverly. Because she doesn't really produce content like this anymore, the most recent routine I could find was one she did for Women's Health magazine in June last year, so that's the one I'm gonna be following in this video. <laughs> I'm so glad we're at that point in the year now where it's actually light outside at 7am because if it was still dark I would have struggled to get up so much this morning but it actually hasn't been that bad. Her first step of the day is to wake up, hydrate and caffeinate so I'm gonna fill up my Starbucks cup and drink a good amount of that. I normally drink a coffee anyway in the morning so this part of the routine really isn't that different to mine however I don't have the coffee first thing because I don't know if this is incorrect, but I read somewhere that that's not very good for your metabolism. So I normally try and have mine a little later on and when I'm actually having breakfast. So it's going to be interesting to see if this has any different effect on my day. At 7.45, Grace then does a home workout and has a shower and she does all of this in the space of 45 minutes so I can't imagine the workout is that long. I'm gonna aim for half an hour. She obviously has a home gym and does workouts in a home gym. I do not have a home gym but I do have a living room so we're just gonna have to compromise and of course I'm gonna do a shreddy workout. It would kind of be rude to do any other workout in this video but I actually love shreddy. If you've been watching me for a while then you'll know that I did this for ages in lockdown last year so I'm just gonna jump straight back into where I left off and I'm gonna do the full body workout from week 10. Grace has a really extensive skincare routine in this article, however, I don't own any of those products, so I'm just sticking to my normal skincare, which is one product, and then I did some really natural makeup, so just some mascara, eyebrow gel, and CC cream, and then she says that she always puts her hair in a low bun, so this is what I did, and it was actually great because my hair was pretty greasy, and then she gets dressed into a Balenciaga hoodie and shorts. I do not own Balenciaga, however, I do own a lot of Tala so I thought this was probably the next best thing and this is the finished look. Sorry the kitchen is always so noisy and the boiler has literally just decided to turn on so that's brilliant but it's 9am and it's time for breakfast and in this article Grace says that she eats garlic mushrooms on toast and to be fair being the stan that I am I would have guessed that I feel like I will always associate this meal with her. running five minutes behind schedule. I'm very confused how she manages to cook, eat, and clean up in the space of 15 minutes because that was so much stress and my breath literally reeks now. So Grace is CEO, I think anyway, or she definitely runs three companies. So most of her day consists of meetings and work calls. I do not have three companies to run. However, I am at university and I do quite a few other projects alongside my degree. So whenever she is working or having work calls in her routine, I made sure to do the same hours, but just working on my own projects. It's now now 12 and I'm back in the kitchen because it's lunch time. Grace doesn't actually have lunch until 1pm, however I have a seminar at 1pm so I'm gonna have to do this an hour earlier which I'm not mad about because I am hungry and 
what we're having for lunch doesn't really look like it's gonna fill me up that much because this article just says that she eats some broccoli which i have here some asparagus some avocado which she makes into guacamole and tempeh and i have never cooked tempeh in my life so i have no idea what to do with this i'm guessing it's just like tofu i can't remember who did it i think it might have been my housemate abby but she seasoned her tofu with nando sauce so i might do that because if this is anything like tofu which it kind of looks like it's kind of tasteless on its own so i have absolutely no idea if this is what it's supposed to look like but this is what we've made for lunch and not gonna lie it looks really nice and really healthy as well i steamed some broccoli and some asparagus i then just pan fried the tempeh after coating it in nando's medium sauce and then i made a sort of guacamole so i don't really like lemon or coriander flavoring so I just mashed up a whole avocado and then chopped some tomatoes and added some salt and pepper. Nando's tempeh taste test. I'm so intrigued. This also has 21 grams of protein in because I did 100 grams of tempeh. Okay, that is really weird. That is not what I expected it to taste like. It's the texture. The texture is so bizarre. Grace also takes an hour long lunch break, which I really appreciate because my concentration is dying already. And we've still got a lot of work to do this afternoon. So I don't know how she does this every day. So we're back to work. And this hour and a half long seminar with breakout rooms is probably the closest that I'm gonna get to the level of meetings that Grace has in a day. It felt like it was never going to end. It's now 3 p.m. and there just seems to be an hour-long break in her routine at this point. She doesn't really say what she does for that hour but I am glad for a break. However one thing she does do is create cucumber water, a jug of cucumber water. So got myself a jug, I've got some cucumber in the fridge and apparently she just keeps sipping on this for the rest of the afternoon. I actually really rate this cucumber water, it tastes so refreshing, however it does feel a little bit pointless, I feel like I'm just putting water in water but one thing that i have noticed about this routine is i know of course it's not comprehensive i'm sure she does so much more in a day but there is no afternoon snacking involved or any snacking at all really and i'm a big snacker and i am hungry it is currently 10 to 4 and i really need something to keep me going so i've just grabbed a banana i thought as long as it's vegan it should be fine, so. And we're back to work again, and I spent the last few hours of the day planning out my Notion Skillshare class, which is hopefully coming sometime soon in April. And then I had a Finsights Management Board meeting, which I feel like is the closest I'm gonna get to Grace's level of responsibility. I swear my eyes actually look bloodshot. <laughs> from the number of hours that I've just spent staring at my laptop today but it's currently half past seven or close enough anyway it's 23 minutes past and I'm finally finished with the working day because this is when Grace finishes she's got a bit of a weird evening from now on although it's not weird it's just different to mine she goes for a walk at 7.30 at night. She takes her dog for a walk. And this article was done in June, so it was still light then. However, it's currently dark and I'm gonna go for a walk. I don't have a dog, but I do have housemates. So I'm gonna take my housemates for a walk and there's three of us, so we're not walking alone in the dark or anything. She goes for an hour long walk, I think. I don't know if we're gonna go for an hour because I don't really fancy walking around in the dark for an hour. Please excuse how rosy my cheeks look. We've just got back from a walk and I'm gonna make dinner now. So for dinner, we are making pumpkin pasta. There is no recipe in the article, so this is just a recipe that I found on the internet, but I bought some canned pumpkin. This was a nightmare to get hold of, but we've got it now, and I'm guessing I just kind of use this like pasta sauce, and then I'm just gonna put some vegetables in it as well. So I've got mushrooms, I've got the other half of mushrooms that I had earlier. So I've eaten a whole pack of mushrooms today, and I've got some spinach, and obviously I'll put some onion and stuff in it as well. And then she also has crumble for dessert. So I bought some apple crumble, although now I've realized I have no idea if this is vegan or not. 
and I wouldn't imagine that it is. It's vegetarian, but it's got egg in. So kind of fucked up there. And then she also has a glass of wine. I didn't want to buy a whole bottle of wine, so I bought this little can of rosé because it's currently a Monday night and I don't really fancy drinking on a Monday night, especially because I already drank this weekend. So we're gonna see what this little can is like. a bit of the pumpkin it just tastes like sweet potato like slightly different but mostly just like sweet potato so maybe it's actually not going to be that bad ah! <laughs> Not gonna lie, I wasn't a massive fan of the pumpkin pasta, but after dinner, Grace spends the evening with her housemates watching TV and relaxing, so this is exactly what I did too. Hello, hello. It is now the next day, and I thought I'd finish this video with a quick overview, a quick conclusion on Grace's routine. It's safe to say I now understand why she gets so much done. I don't think I've done as much work as I did yesterday in ages i think it added up to about eight hours in total and i got so much done however by the end of the day i was absolutely shattered and my eyes were literally like bloodshot from how much i'd just been staring at my laptop i did actually really enjoy following her routine it was really insightful but i am glad to be getting back to my own routine today i'm not gonna lie this video was a little bit different so let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to do anyone else's routine and if you did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also follow my social media which will be linked down below in the description bye guys Bye.